Moving to BIM can seem like a daunting task. Here, we'll take a look at a simple framework and guide to help you get started putting BIM into practice with your own pilot project. First of all, a BIM implementation must be supported by the business as a whole. It can't be only an IT initiative, R&D, or a solo endeavor. Everyone must be on board. And teams must be backed by the business's leadership team. Let's take a look at two essential strategies that are essential to the success of a BIM pilot project. A succinct and well-articulated BIM vision from executive leadership is essential for a successful BIM implementation. The vision must outline what the BIM process adoption will achieve for the organization and what the principal elements of the transformation are. Here's how to create an effective BIM vision. Be inspirational and aspirational. Make your vision far-reaching for the entire organization, not just rolled out as a technology exercise. Educate. Educate leadership and establish a relationship with a trusted advisor to help. The BIM leadership team must ensure that the BIM vision is translated into actionable tactics in order to produce the desired outcomes and performance in line with an organization's strategic objectives. Managing change in any organization, and in terms of lasting, sustainable change, can be difficult. Here are some potential tactics to manage change during a BIM pilot project. Defining milestones. Educate, assess, and validate change. Communications. Executive communication to demonstrate the everyday commitment to BIM. Training. Invest in training to set up participants for success. Business changes. Address potential new aspects of the business, such as traditional contractual relationships. Best practices. Evaluate effectiveness of pilot project with project reviews to catch errors, improve standards and processes, and replicate best practices. With the groundwork done, it's time to pick a pilot project. BIM practitioners take a number of approaches that include completing a fictitious project or competition, redoing a recent project as a comparison, or starting a new live project for a client. All are valid and will depend on the acceptable level of risk and manpower available to undertake your current work. Any pilot should include measurement at all key stages to really understand how BIM has improved the design and or construction process. The positive benefits to each stakeholder in the process should also be documented for any return on investment calculation. Changing how you work can seem challenging, but the move to BIM can be a seamless experience with the right steps taken along the way. By starting small and building confidence, as well as increasing core capabilities and experience, the transition to BIM will accelerate with each new project. <laughs>